the delivery company's arrived with my uh, Lasada order, so I'm off ashore to get it. It's not all of it, but uh, hopefully the majority. We'll see. Well, there we go. That's my mattress arrived. I'll be leaving that ashore until I, I cut it up, possibly this afternoon. It's a lot bigger than I expected. And here's the rest of the gear. How many parcels? Okay. How many parcels in total? Parcels. How many? How many? Anyway, there is a bit there. Hello, Aaron. How are you today? <laughs> Wave at the camera. Wave at the camera. No? 16. 16. Oh, okay, that's that's good. Okay, and that's it all signed for. Now I've got to take it out to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normally they deliver each parcel individually, but uh, the courier company, as I might have mentioned before, they were a bit of a problem and they weren't going to deliver at all and go to send the gear back. But once I got on to Lasada, uh, they made a deal with the delivery company <laughs> and they phoned me and I just asked them to pile it all up and give me it in one or two bulk deliveries, which saved them a trip and or a number of trips. And it's, uh, well, it's better for me too, getting it all at once. Isn't it, my dear? Well, that's it on board. Well, that's my new mattress in. Cut it perfect first time. Uh, fitted the sheet, but uh, I kind of see me making my bed every day. Pain in the backside getting that tucked in. Uh, put my my older iPad, not iPad, what do you call it? Uh, MacBook Air up on that shelf. And I can sit there in the evening and watch telly. Well, I'm out in the boat again, as you can see. Uh, I've got a tablet now from a uh, chart in Everham, which uh, makes it really handy, especially coming out of Tampuku Bay. You can uh, follow the small channel, no bother. Uh, the sea's a bit rougher this time than uh, last time, but the uh, I'm heading up to Apu Island again. Uh, this time I might just make it. Uh, I may stay overnight, depends if I can uh, get a boy to park up at. If I can't, I'll just come back. So the idea is I'm steaming right now because uh, we're into the wind. Uh, on the way back though, I'm going to try putting up all my sails. So, uh, for the time being though, it's just Steaming. There's up Apple Island up ahead. Autopilot's doing all the all the work. And I'm just taking in the view. This time, if you excuse me as I jump up here. This time, I've got my dinghy with me. I've put the engine on board and I'm towing the dinghy. And it's uh, towing quite well. It's no swinging back and forth or anything. Uh, so I'm quite happy with that. If it, I might just about a bit more line. Uh, I'll wait and see, see how it goes. Uh, but that should make it easier when I'm mooring as well because the conclusion I've came to, when I was mooring last time, I was pulling in the, the rope when it was hell of a heavy. Well, it's because I was pulling the dinghy as well because it was attached to the same line. So this time I've got the dinghy with me. So hopefully picking up my boy when I get back will be so much easier. Fortunately for me, the engine
was going. So I've switched it off. Had a wee check about. No idea. Uh, so I've put up the the head sail for the the trip back. And believe it or not, I'm halfway back already. It, it's taken me no time at all. I don't know if the sail's doing any good. The the current's definitely in uh, my favour. Uh, the sail won't be doing any harm. And hopefully, by the time I get back to the entrance, when I switch on the engine, the alarm will have stopped, giving me time to get in. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to release my anchor. It's tied up up front. I'm going to release it and put it on deck. Uh, before going in, just in case I lose power, uh, so that at least I can drop anchor. Well, I'm going up to 5.9 kilometres an hour, or is that knots? That would be kilometres, I think. Uh, so I'm really, really pleased, and that's just on uh, the head sail. But we're getting an under sail, which is uh, quite good. Uh, I think I found the problem for the, the cooling of the engine. What's happened is one. Anyway, we'll soon see. I've switched it back on. I've tried the engine and there's no alarm on. So that's a good indication that it's working. Either that or the engine is just cool enough. Uh, the, the alarm's not going on. So I'm not going to try it yet. I'll wait until <laughs> I'll wait until I'm near a, a shore and uh, pull in the sail, pull in the engine, and well, great. I got my first soak in there. It's uh, a wee bit of the choppy sound coming up this way. Thingy looks as if it's still doing fine. Well, I've got fishermen to contend with now, so I'm going to have to take down the sail. the anchor sort of manageable if I need to use it and now I'm heading back uh, I did hook on while I was out there well the engine seems to be going okay so uh, and that's as bad just a couple more minutes and uh, Hopefully, I'm moored up safe and sound. Well, I got back okay. Took me a second run at the, the buoy to actually lift it. I uh, thought I'd got it in the first one, I got it into that wee cradle, but it was, it was too hard to pull in. So the second time round, I just pulled it in the sign side, hooked it on, and then went back once I got my breath back and uh, and put it into the cradle. Uh, so that's the way I'll be doing it in future. Um, yeah, the engine worked from out where those fishermen were, right in with no problem. But uh, that doesn't mean to say it's fixed. Uh, I'm going to have to look again at those valves. Uh, <clears throat> if that valve for the engine cooling uh, water uh, goes back and joins onto the one that uh, sucks in the, the water going to the toilet, uh, 
back to the seacock, uh, I'll assume that I've fixed the problem. Uh, if not, uh, all it would take is for me to go out again for a couple of hours and it would happen again. So uh, I'll have to get somebody in to see it because I'm certainly no mechanic. Uh, yeah, hopefully I find the fault and that will be it. So uh, I'm sorry but that's me knackered. I'm going to have one beer and then I'm going to put my engine back on my dinghy and then I'm going to <laughs> probably go across to the, the, the wee cafe across there and uh, have another beer or two. Uh, yeah, plans of mice and men. Uh, Apple Island uh, has got away from me again, but I'll make it eventually, inshallah. <laughs> okay, bye the new.